Hello folks. How we doing? Oh god, I'm, I must apologise for how sporadic the vlogs have been as of late. But, you know, I've been really bloody busy. It's one minute past seven now. Don't forget your mask. One minute past seven in the evening. It was Gemma's birthday yesterday. She ended up working pretty much all day. Bless her. I did say I was going to go home today. Spend some time with her. But I made not a mistake, but maybe a little misjudgment. I decided to send the website live last night. About 8 o'clock, 7 o'clock, something like that. I can't exactly remember. And I thought I'd just put a picture on Instagram, which obviously automatically posts to Facebook. And that maybe will bring in one or two customers. And then we'll be able to kind of test it. So I put in the post for friends and followers. And overnight, we did 1,500 quid's worth of sales. I'm absolutely bloody blown away. I Don't get me wrong, I've got my appreciation valve absolutely wide open. But I did not expect it. And on top of that, the site broke down. The shipping wasn't being calculated on orders, so I had to send over a dozen people emails, kind of cap in hand. Uh, can I have some shipping money, please? And then there were issues with the age check to get into the site. People couldn't see the button, so I had to write some CSS code for the uh, for the add-ons for the age check add-on. It was madness. I didn't get in bed last night until one. And then we're up and in here this morning and I've been here all day packing boxes of beer. And then, unfortunately and really quite disappointingly, there's been an issue with the labels. So I've put a little note in all the orders for people to see. But uh, yeah, look at this. So I put the labels on and on the proof of concept, it's perfectly fine. Looks really good. Goes on nice and neat. And as you can see, if you if you look close up along this edge along here, it looks really solid and crisp. And then I conditioned the beers at about 20 degrees for two weeks and then put them into the cold room, which is obviously where they want to live, so they've got a longer shelf life. And the cold made all the labels go funny. So I'm not happy about that. Like You probably can't see it on the camera. Maybe just a little bit there. It's gone all lumpy and bumpy and in places when they rub against another can it's ripped them off. I'm really quite pissed off about it. But what I've said to everybody who's bought some cans and I hope they're fine with it is I've popped a little code, a discount code in there for them so on the next order they get a bit of money off. So let me flip the camera and we'll have a look. Oh, thank God that AC unit's turned off. So, that's just some of the orders that I've had to get out this afternoon. And then there's some more on here. There's some more on here. They go all the way down here, look, all these orders. I'm yet to pack these and it's seven o'clock. They've got to go tomorrow. Um, there was no chance of me shipping them today, so these Ain't gonna reach you until after the weekend, folks. Uh, yeah, all these orders have got to go. And then these are the ones that I've managed to pack so far after sorting out all the postage. I had to print all this postage, of course, before we even uh, started to box them up. What a job. Anyway, like I said, I'm not complaining. I'm gonna pop this video up tonight. It's out of sequence. There's other things that have happened. I'll probably put a video up tomorrow, which I've already filmed yesterday, telling you that I'm going to launch the website, which won't make any sense. But I think there'll be other content on there, or at least loads of other waffle, that is perhaps uh, of value to somebody. I don't know. Uh, and while I'm here as well, I thought I'd crack open a couple of the really bad tins that had ripped labels on and uh, give them a slurp. So it does pour clear, but obviously I've been packing these boxes 
and rotating them round and round so it's knocked all the sediment up again but if you put them in the fridge and handle them as you would a bottled conditioned beer and pour them carefully you can get them clear but really it drink them hazy boys it doesn't matter to me I'm sure it doesn't matter to you one thing I will point out though uh, today's the 25th of July no it isn't it's the 23rd of July the proof of concept if you've got any coming your way could do with till the end of the month to condition again popped the website live didn't expect everybody to dive on and buy all the bloody stock frankly but uh, yeah I'm, I can't say I'm upset about the whole thing I'm really pleased and quite humbled that there's such a show of support out there I wish I could have done this a lot earlier during lockdown that would have been a bit of an advantage to everybody but unfortunately this is where we are um, what else was I going to talk about yeah uh, I need to brew again there's a video coming out soon that you're going to see we had an infection it wasn't an infection uh, per se due to it kind of was due to um, lack of I wouldn't say hygiene but certainly concentration but we had an infection carried over by the reuse of yeast and then an under pitch which allowed the infection to take hold before my camera's wobbling everywhere here which allowed the infection to take hold before the yeast could multiply and populate the beer which was unfortunate I talk about it in another video anyway that's to come I think I'm going to wrap this one up otherwise it's going to be long protracted and going nowhere so I would just like to say thank you to everybody who has bought beer on the website please be patient I don't want to really ship over the weekend but we're going to have to in this instance because I don't want the beer sat in the back of lorries in the summer sun uh, I prefer to just ship on Tuesdays and Thursdays that's my plan we will be shipping globally, but you're going to have to select the global shipping option on the website and then I'll get back to you with a quote for shipping because it changes, it's very dynamic, particularly with Brexit, nobody knows what it's going to cost us to ship anything, is it going to go by air, is it going to go by sea, who knows. Uh, and of course, everything that's coming into the country is getting smashed for duty and everything like that. Uh, I just got hit recently for the coding machine on the labeler. Uh, so yeah, it's up in air. But if you do want to buy the beers, you can. You might want to wait till the next batch. The next batch will be coming out shortly. And it'll have polypropylene labels on. So if you're a label enthusiast, you'll be able to keep the labels. Because some of these vacant gesture labels are a bit shagged. For want of a better word. And I'll end on saying... The pilot kit, ladies and gentlemen, behind the canning machine and the labeler, it is there. You wouldn't believe it, would you? But it is there. And then there's all the cooling pipe work for it on the side. That's going to come out over the next few months. And we're going to brew a series of beers. I'm hoping to do four a month. Four different beers every month. And we're going to call it Four for Can. Four beers for Can. And this will be a four for can series and we'll pro push the kit but we'll probably not be able to get much more than 60 litres out so by my reckoning we'll be looking at about 100 120 cans of each batch of beer they'll go on the website and be available in the pub but once they're gone they're gone so it's a way of me being able to uh, brew more beer particularly for YouTube because that's been missing a little bit and uh, I'll be able to put these recipes up on the website and we'll start to build a little bit of a catalogue of recipes on there and we'll share it with everybody and it'll be free to you if you want to have it for free or you can make a small donation of three pounds to download a Beersmith file and a PDF if you want to you don't have to but you can anyway I told you I'd start waffling I'm gonna wrap up thank you very much ladies and gentlemen not just for watching the videos but also for supporting me, Gemma, Stuart and the kids in our little venture here at Harrison's Brewery. And I'll see you on the next video. Friggin' right, so I will. <laughs>